Greetings one and all, my name is Lancer and welcome back once again to Dun Dun Dun. We'll be watching episode 2 and last time on, we just got thrown right into the chaos of it and I love it. We got introduced to the character Ayase, who is this kind of delinquent girl, kind of bumbling through life, just got dumped. And then she takes interest in this guy, who we find out later is named Ken. The same name as this guy she has a crush on. And while they both sort of challenged each other to experience what they both believe, Ayase believes in ghosts. Ken believes in aliens. They both experienced both in the most extreme way possible. And yeah, now they gotta go get Ken's weenie back. I love this show already. Let's get right into the episode. <laughs> uh, what is happening? Oh yeah, her, her psychic powers. Well, we're just picking up right where we left off. <laughs> Don't speak your name ever, lest I fall in love with you. God forbid. It was a weird panning shot. Okaru. Well, I mean, you'd think you have plenty of choice, but... The editing on this episode. <laughs> Oh my god, that was real. We have to go to school now. <laughs> well, it's what left of both of your... <laughs> what a cold open. Surprises are sticking together. <laughs> you brought us here. Oh my god. Yeah, she's a spirit person, right? Yeah, it's not gonna be able to cross the boundary. So, you can't even come in. What about second barrier? <laughs> Is there a barrier at the front door? It's the cat from the ED. This boy is going to die here. We were groped by aliens, but you know what? Yeah, it's chill. I mean, he's small enough. Um. There's just gonna be a flat surface. Bruh! Don't do that shit. <laughs> Miss your chance, huh? Possibly something more. <laughs> well, now we're in the same world. Well, technically two different worlds. One is beyond the stars, the one is here. This little drama piece. <laughs> A perfectly normal bonding. Uh <laughs> Is that the doorbell? <laughs> The other's first spirit. There's a spirit at the door. Ah. But if it's already here... Mm. The sky is dark. Aliens again? What the... Mm. 
Plus, I think he dies. He can't get to outside. Blood. I like the desaturation right now. Slowly killing you? Alright, now we're in noir film. The nutcracker spirit. What, the never break the barrier kind of thing? Or we need Granny to come home. <laughs> That's some impressive CG. What is it with the bananas? He already doesn't have one. An alien, okay. Hmm. So an alien, is there also a ghost maybe? Unleash the curse then. Maybe we can use this power. <laughs> I like that just running like that. Maybe we can unleash some form, some half granny form. <laughs> mm. Well, now's the time. Can you use her speed? A body built for speed. Whoa. Ooh. Yo, fucking Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> He's a different character. I mean, his name is Ken. Ken Kaneki. Ken... <laughs> uh, I wonder how much Tokyo Ghoul overlap there is. <laughs> Yo. He's talking American. Alright, let's see it. Oof. Turbo Granny. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, if you can't control it, but... Just a little glimpse, I guess, of what is to come. We gotta wrestle it. Hmm. All right. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Shoto. Oof. He can just do that. She doesn't have a banana. Okay. Well, she's dead. Uh, double dead. Well, this might be for the best. Uh, how are you alive? Hmm. She have some sort of hidden power? Other than this? <laughs> <laughs> what is she made of? Unless he's just not hitting that hard? 
深さがいいんだこの深さならよ鳥居の外にいるってことになるああナイス Just don't fall Just don't fall out Like it never happened. Now his hair looks cooler. Oh, oh. Looks cool that way. Yeah, you took hella hits. You should be dead.、Uh. Animation's going crazy right now. Uh, Spider Granny. Spider Gran. Why? <laughs> Spider Gran. Spider Gran. Well, that was episode two of Dun Dun Dun. I should not be watching these all at once because I'm going to get caught up and be like, oh, I want to see more, but it's fine. I can tell with this one, they took a little more of a backseat with the animation, a lot of still frames with stuff. It came back there in the end. Really good. So now he has this half granny form. It looks really cool. Again, it reminds me of,、uh, it reminds me a lot of Tokyo Ghoul and also kind of a、uh, Senku from Dr. Stone, mainly the hair. We really leveled up Ayase this episode. So she could just really use that telekinesis basic power. Also, was she just not getting hit that hard? Or is it just like straight willpower? Because she's still just human. I don't know. It's anime. She didn't bleed, so her life wasn't in danger, I guess. This is Granny's house. I wonder if Granny's gonna be coming home. I envision this might be the balance. We have like an alien and then a ghost, an alien, a ghost. I mean, so far we've mainly been dealing with aliens. Like, obviously, we've had the Turbo Granny thing, but maybe we balance it out with some more ghost stuff next time. Again, what is like the end game of this story? I gotta see. I mean, I'm not gonna look it up, but I, like the manga is still going naturally. I figured. Oh, the first three episodes were released as a movie?、Hmm. I mean, I'm basically watching a movie. Right now, since I'm doing all three. Yeah, that was really good. Cool building off、uh, the first episode. I mean, obviously, that's what every episode's gonna do, but a lot of emotional stuff with ISA and Ken, or should I say, Okurun. I'm sure it's something that maybe will eventually build into an actual romance thing, but you know, they're very similar. It's just they've gone through life in different ways. You know, as Okurun said in this, just like we're from different worlds, you know, that case, just like this girl. I mean, she didn't seem that popular. So she has at least a friend, so that makes her in a different world than Okurun. But there's still that whole Ken. Takakura thing. It's like, is it just a coincidental name? He says those cool things. Did she say he's like an actor or something? Or I don't know. I liked his transformation though. Just like this halfway power using the speed. And just like he has the yo, we're gonna fight, yo. If for nothing else, this show is really fun. I'm enjoying the hell out of it so far. I mean, just cause the show, you don't need to have a bunch of buildup in the first episode to hook ya. This was just enough. And yeah, I look forward to seeing more as always. But either way, this is my reaction to episode two of Dun Dun. Done. Join me next time for episode three. We'll see everything else to be coming out soon. So until next time, I'm Lancer. Thanks for watching.